guys, so this is the before the white trash bed and breakfast going on right here. <laughs> so you got a hole in the deck where they have to run the electric out for the pool. The pool's installed, uh, but the deck isn't. Now we have a yard mess, right? And we have a deck that's cut off to accommodate the pool. A lot of dirt and a deck that's cut off here. Now what we started to do is dig some holes. And that is where a beam is gonna go. So these things, uh, these boards kind of lay out where the upper deck is gonna go. Uh, the dog's sitting on the upper deck right now. So you can see this. Uh, the upper deck is gonna be up here, go across. And these are the steps gonna be up to the upper deck. Upper deck's gonna come across right here. And it's gonna be kind of up here, you know. These holes have to be 36, but they keep filling up with water. And that's where we're starting. We're gonna have a pergola and a swim up bar, right? Cool. All right, now we got the holes dug. So, hole and hole. This will be one beam, and that'll be a corner beam. That'll go all the way up there. And there's another hole right there. And this hole for this beam here, this hole, this will be a corner joint. The beams join there. That will come over here, and that will terminate this beam. Terminate like right up here, and this will be the upper deck here. So all this will be upper deck, and the joist will go across like that. And this beam down here will tie into that support, the lower part of that support, or to that hole there, the lower support, so the lower deck can come out and cantilever over that and still have some framing done there. And that's what it looks like. That is what the upper deck is going to look like. Here for some perspective. So, this will be the beam, another beam, corner beams, and the deck will go across here. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, so I should have started this earlier, but while I'm waiting for the guy to come my holes for the piers for the new deck decided I could get started on this one over here now I've got to bring these joists out to the pool to continue the floor here these are too long the cantilever so I got to put a beam over here but everything from here over I can uh, extend out by sistering up these joists in order to do that I take the floorboards up I started taking them up I'll take those up next and then we are going to uh, get some wood, sister up these joists, and bring them all out. Cut a tube, put it in there, and pour it up. Alright, that appears done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them, I think. Yeah. And this one. The one you can't see in the corner down here. Yeah, so there's three there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 1,600 pounds of concrete. All done. Inspector came, liked my holes, and I put the piers in. Next to the wheelbarrow, all done by hand. And now my back hurts. Okay, so we got the piers in, and I just put these six by six posts in, I'm using those just to measure all the posts in. And I think that's a 45, it's 45-ish, so that's going to be good. I think the deck boards are going to be running 45, 
45 that way. So they kind of meet the pool. The pool's at a 45 from here, so uh, that's gonna be good. Got the piers in, got the braces in. Next time, cutting the six by sixes, measuring it up, and uh, building the beams. All right, so I got the lower beam in. attached those cantilever deck boards yet. That'll be the next step. Tightening down those piers, lining them all up, and these six by sixes, getting ready for them to be leveled so I can put those beams across there, and across there, and across there. Lower beams in, working on the upper beams for the upper deck. Now it's getting late, but lower beams in. I got two of these joists sistered up so far and nailed in. The rest are just laying there, but we'll get to them tomorrow. But when the sun went down, I put a laser level on those piers. And God damn it if they weren't all steady, eddy, even as hell. So I notched that one already. I'm going to notch that one next. And then that one. I'm going to put some 2x10 beams up there tomorrow. And it's going to be awesome start building that one and then across here oh, so after notching the posts and get some beams in and their carriage bolted through and this corner one I'll show you. It through that cut is not as clean as I'd like it to be but there's enough hanging into the uh, thing to make it good the carriage bolts here some of the end will be cut off there. And the end will be cut off here, right along this line. Cut off there. Notching posts, notching posts. Notching the posts. Yeah, testing it out. Got these installed. Yeah, check out level, yeah. that one, got that little thing there, yeah. get through and get to that one, yeah, and we got another beam in, got that beam in, and we're gonna put this monster uh, in, the, in that hole, but I got another beam in, that beam took me all freaking day to do, because uh, it wasn't level, and then I cut it, and got it perfectly level and I was so happy and then I installed it and I, after I installed it all of a sudden it wasn't level anymore and that's the one I did and I even thought about you can see how hard I thought about shimming it and I had that shim and then I put that shim in and leveled it and it was perfectly level but I looked at it and I was like no freaking way I'm not gonna have to shim it and have this bullshit I'm gonna do it right so I cut a new one and I'm um, Actually glad I did because it's uh, it's perfect. It's level. It's level up, down, and level side to side, and really good. So tomorrow I'm getting more wood. I need a longer uh, two by ten to go in between here. Uh, the eight foot will just make it, but not enough with the overhang because it's the deck is going to come over to about here. The overhang is going to come about to here. So the eight just goes like right to there. So I, I just need. I need them to deliver the wood tomorrow morning. They're coming. Hey, yeah, I got some stuff done today. So, last time I was about to finish that beam. I finished that beam this morning. I was trying to figure out how to tie into this deck here, or other deck, and I kind of figured that out. So I put a new board in there that extends all the way to that post. That post is gonna be the uh, rail for the upper deck. Doubled up on that, matched it up on that side. And I started to put some stringers across, but I gotta cut those. So I think I'm gonna, I screwed them, I like to toenail them in. And I think I'm gonna 
unscrew them, cut them with the circular saw, and then screw them back in. I'm just kind of placing them. Let's see where we're at. But that's some progress. I'm gonna finish the stringers tomorrow and rim joists. And uh, then we'll work on the stairs. The stairs will go right here, up there, and the pergola. I'm just gonna go over here. So I didn't do too much on the, uh, the joists over here, as you can see. Um, I would have figured out I took those boards out of here, and I figured what I'm going to do is install the rim joist first. I'm going to measure the one over there and one over here, so I can install the rim joist, and then I can lay them in and just cut because those are all different cuts, all different size cuts that'll be going all the way around. But this will be one level, so I'll install that level and then I can cut these. But anyway, I didn't do too much work on that because I finished the floor over here, sistering all the joists and screwing them in and getting them the right level, which is seven inches from the pool. And this will be a table kind of bar thing around the pool. But uh, that was so that we could put these up and build the pergola. I'm gonna step back for you. This is the pergola. It was six by sixes, down about 10 inches in the ground with uh, a gravel bed. And they are hooked into the existing decking. Now, they're just hooked in there now with these brackets and the braces. Um, and uh, and a carriage bolt. Uh, you can see a carriage bolt through the bottom there. But I am going to install some blocking. I have to install blocking anyway. Um, there was no blocking in this deck for whatever reason. But I gotta put blocking in between here anyway for a rim joist. But I'm gonna put extra blocking around here and put a piece of wood, piece of wood, and screw it and make sure that it's all got really tight. I'm gonna do that for all four. And I'm gonna install blocking across all of these joists to give it rigidity. And uh, that'll be good, that'll be it. Except for putting four by fours up and starting to build the bar over here. I'm gonna put some end joists and we'll do it up. Today, uh, I fixed this corner. This corner used to be a cut off like dog ear corner. No one like that. I had to make it square. So, started to put those across. And I haven't done the corner yet up there, uh, which is going to angle that way. But I got the squared up pieces done, cut them to about two inches away from the pool, all the way around. I'm gonna put locking in. These were straight. This a little long because this is where we're going to install the post pole, just like that pole. Yeah. And that's going to be the handrail and the guard, hand, well, guardrail. And then the steps will come down here. So, yeah, progress today. More progress tomorrow. Maybe. Oh, I got these all figured out. I don't know if I already showed you that, but I got these all figured out. Cut around the pool. I got to install blocking in between those. And I gotta install blocking in between all of these. Lots of angle cuts coming up. Today was a short day. I had other stuff to do, but I finished the corner up there and started the blocking around the pool. Gotta finish that blocking all the way down. And then we'll do the blocking all the way here some of the guardrails and the posts. Yeah, buddy. Uh, today it's raining and it rain really sucks, but I hope it's gonna stop soon. I've got most of the blocking done all the way around here. I got that little, little part to do, but I did get the posts up for the guardrails. Two on that side, two on that side. This one back up. We'll go from here to here. The stairs will actually come down here and one from there to there. So 
know, that's what it looks like. I gotta continue, finish the blocking in here, and uh, build the uh, frame for the bar. Finish the blocking like they did on these two over here. So I'm largely done with that uh, framing, anyway, with that deck up there. I gotta finish and clean up and uh, do some detail work on this right here. But uh, we're almost ready for framing inspection. So we got all the angle cuts done. The blocking is in for the lower deck, you know, following around the pool. Blocking is done for the upper deck, you know, following around the pool that way. And the lower deck falls around the pool this way. Still gotta figure out the bar. And last time, right now, I'm just gonna put some blocking in around these uh, six by sixes for the pergola. And uh, yeah, that's it. Didn't do so much, but uh, haven't filmed in a while. Um, Uncle Bobby and Clement came and they put down all these deck boards and they built these stairs, which are awesome. Uh, so today, because they took that off my hands, which is awesome, I'm gonna concentrate on building the bar over here. So I got those three boxes and I've got this post. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put from that pole to the post and that post over. And I'm going to lay some frame on top of that to put deck boards that run across. And, uh, it'll be awesome. So this is the bar. It's coming along. These. You can see that. They're just... Uh, uh, like a stud wall back there. This is like a stud wall and another stud wall. I lay some two by fours across. I got a beam. And a beam that's going across there, hooked it into poles, and then this beam right here. And it's just a little bit cantilevered over here. And I'm screwing the deck boards from the bottom so there's no holes in the top. And I'm doing some angle cuts. I'm gonna frame it in here, frame it in there, and then cut the ends off here. Yeah. put a rail up on the steps and we're gonna see what we're gonna do about some corrugated and put the step down here <laughs> step and this like a kind of an afterthought just to see if I could build it and I built a bench and just 15 degree cuts all over the place just 15 degrees a bottom piece a middle piece a long piece that goes up here and a short one for the front 18 inches off 18 inches high and then just decking boards across super super easy build okay update uncle bobby and clement put up some corrugated Nana loves it, looks good. So we gotta get some more. That was just kind of a proof of concept, but we'll do that for the rest of them. But over here, finish the bar. And that's what the bar looks like from the pool side. Right. Still gotta, you know, sand it and finish that over here and put some, you know, cap it over there to cut it right around the pool. Yep. 
bench built yesterday and the steps went in today. I'm gonna build a, a chair or a rail or a planter or something on that side. So there's gonna be a rail across here and this is gonna be blocked off so that the steps are the steps. Are the steps. Outlet for the pool came in. And outlet for the deck came in. It's getting there. I don't know where we left off, but we started to put the corrugated up. Not all the way finished yet. We just gotta cap the tops. Ran out of two by fours. We gotta get some two by fours tomorrow. Finish those. Finish those and then cap the tops. Put a rail on the top. Yeah, man. It looks alright. the ground in. There's a ground wire now for the pool. And we dug a trench all the way around the pool and we buried that ground wire. So nice and safe. Yeah.